This is an inaugural run of the Bruce Smith Podcast. Just wanted to check the equipment, see how the sound quality is going to be, do a little practicing with some audio editing, and making sure everything uploads okay. Sit back and enjoy episode zero of the Bruce Smith Podcast. The winter warmer style, you'll probably see this style a lot from the late of October all the way up till late January, maybe even mid-February. Breweries might still be putting a few of them out. This is a style that you won't find in particular in the BJCP. However, under this category of winter seasonal beer, uh, you're going to find kind of a catch-all that is going to encompass the style. Just the cliff notes, as described, it is a winter seasonal ale usually made to encompass or capture a lot of the flavors that most of us in the West associate with Christmas season. Things like ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, um, your general mix of those holiday spices that a lot of people gravitate to around this time of the year. Um, You're probably going to get taste of things like honey, molasses, maple syrup. A lot of these things can also be used as alternative fermentation sugars within the beer itself as well. Overall, this beer is, as the name implies, made to be enjoyed during the colder months. So it's going to warm you up a little bit more than your fall styles of beer. Certainly much more than your summer styles of beer, which are going to be made to be more thirst quenching and refreshing. You're going to get more of an alcohol presence from it, um, most sitting at six and a half and above. And you're also going to get more malt presence as well. Um, These beers will likely be very balanced with hot bitterness, um, but certainly hot bitterness won't overwhelm. Even in the American styles where hops are more present than they are in their British counterparts. As far as the color, you're going to normally get a medium amber to a very dark brown. Going outside the BJCP to find more information about this beer, you'll probably find more people talking about um, commercial examples or even local backyard examples they have in this winter warmer. Um, You know, you think of things like Samuel Adams, winter seasonal ale, Christmas ale from Great Lakes Brewing Company, winter warmer from Harpoon, Christmas ale from Brigham Ridge. Surprisingly, one of the things I did not see was Bad Elfin Trojis. Um, That is a phenomenal beer. I believe it sits around 10 to 12 percent. But one of the things that you're going to notice about these beers is that they all are going to be pretty big beers. Um, On this list that I'm looking at right now, the lowest one I've got is 5.9 percent. And then the average is in the eights. The one sitting at five at five point nine, that's the Sam Adams. So you know they're looking to be a little bit more approachable. They're trying to get on more shelves um, and not so much appealing to as much of a local market as a lot of these commercial examples that you're seeing from these beers. So today I've got holidays from Eleven Lakes Brewing Company in Cornelius, North Carolina. This beer sits at seven point six percent ABV and twenty nine IBU. Got it in a 32 ounce crowler served from the casual pint in Charlotte, North Carolina. The first pour gave about two fingers worth of head. The second pour gave a little bit of a fizzling on the top and that was about it. Uh, The first pour was not for me so I didn't really analyze and see how long that head stuck around. But from what I've got here, my subsequent pours, um, it seems that it probably didn't last for very long. Color is a nice, beautiful amber, very, very transparent, not opaque. First impressions of the aroma smells of 
some cinnamon, definitely get a little bit of that ginger in there. But more importantly, it smells like beer. It does have that distinct ale aroma to it. So as far as the impression of taste, it starts off sweet, has a bitter in the middle, and then it still finishes sweet. Um, as I drink it, I first didn't notice the distinct holiday seasonings from it. I was only able to taste the malt sweetness, but as I drank it, the spice began to uh, really reveal itself. I'm not getting too much of the cinnamon, and it is kind of missing that molasses taste that would really make me think gingerbread. But it is like a, um, as I described earlier, it kind of reminds me of a inexpensive ginger snap you might get at a corner store. Overall, it's a good beer. Definitely enjoy drinking it. Got a little bit left. Uh, so, yeah, cheers. Try to deny it, but it's coming for someone you love. Not the wisest to deceive. Thanks for listening. Music featured in this episode was Rivera by Smith the Mister and Fear by Your Friend the Ghost. You can hear more and support these artists on Spotify, Instagram, and SoundCloud. You can send feedback and suggestions to thebrewsmith at gmail.com. You can check out more craft beer and homebrew related content at thebrewsmith.com. If you'd like to support, be sure to check out the merch page at thebrewsmith.com. Thanks for listening, and I hope to have you back next week for episode one. Since we learned for long time, have all but abandoned our small.